butter, but cholesterol took away their passion until... I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. What a work of art. What a work of art. Ladies and gents, welcome back. The global leader telling us that, hey, cows are bad for the environment. You need to find a different alternative for things that you get from cows, i.e. butter. Uh, this this morning from Reuters, scientists are experimenting with larva fat to replace butter. They soak insects in water and then mush them with a blender before centrifuges separate a butter-like substance, which the team then uses to bake with. <laughs> Not making this up, folks. Here we are. All this cake needs is flour, eggs, and 20 grams of dead insects. No, you haven't misheard. A team of scientists at Belgium's University of Ghent are trying to find a way to substitute dairy in cakes, cookies, and waffles. They say deriving grease from insects is more green than dairy production. Um, they are more sustainable because they use less land. They are more efficient converting feed to weight. Um, they also use less water to produce. And in this case, they, are, uh, they can be produced within Europe. That will decrease the footprint that other type of uh, food sources um, bring because they come from far away, let's say South America or uh, Southeast Asia. By soaking the insects in a little bit of water and then mushing them with a kitchen blender before centrifuges separate a butter-like substance, a grease is made which the team used to bake with. But how does it go down outside of the lab? For me there's no difference. <laughs> So um, it's, uh, it's, it's actually better, yeah. <laughs> Do you think you would eat insect fat cakes again? Yeah, yeah. why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no? no. <laughs> the team say that consumers can't taste the difference when a quarter of the milk butter is replaced with the fat from the insects. But they start to notice when it gets to the halfway mark. So who knows? One day you could be munching on a cockroach croissant as you head to the office or making your nearest and dearest a beetle birthday cake. Oh, well, they say it is green. Uh, the only green would be my face if they had me eat that. <laughs> uh, it'll turn you green for sure. That is absolutely for sure. But what are some of the issues with eating bugs? Well, this is starting to come out now. So the chitons are a part of the bug's ecoskeleton, study shows humans can't digest chitin, and it can lead to cancer. And there's a study here. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can read this for yourself. We have um, this man takes on, uh, on Twitter, insects contain chitin, which can, can't be processed by the human body. They also can't be removed by cooking either. Chitons will eventually make you very sick with respiratory illnesses and possibly even spinal cancer. Don't eat the bugs, folks. Insects, it's been shown, contain a substance called chitin. There's a meme going around. You sort of see this stuff and you think, oh, is this fear mongering? Is this true? But I've looked into it and it's actually true, folks. There's a lot of evidence that insects contain chitons. Chitons are very, very bad for humans. Chitons cause all sorts of problems, asthma, respiratory problems, all, all the things we're seeing from the jab. It also causes this thing called glioblastoma, which is a spinal cancer. It comes from chitons. And chitons cannot be cooked out of insects. There's no processing that will take these substances out of the insects. When you eat the insects, you are eating chitons. Chitons cannot be processed by the human body. You know, we don't eat insects, folks. You know, birds, chickens, lizards, reptiles, these things eat insects. Fish eat insects. We don't eat insects. We don't have the digestive system to be able to process certain things that are found in insects, such as chitons. And like I said, they can't be processed out. They cannot be cooked out. They are always there. So if you're eating little insect snacks or eating insectin burgers, you're eating chitin strokes and you're going to make yourself very sick. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. So 
from what I understand, chitons are a type of polymer, which is a plastic that <laughs> we're all worried about the plastics on Earth. But that's where we are this morning, folks. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Are you going to you gonna eat the new, I can't believe it's not butter? I can't believe it's not bugs. That's where we're at, folks. Uh, that's all I got for you on this one. We'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.